previously. I'm going to- You brought it back! <laughs> I did. I'm okay. gonna activate the Ignite Cavalier! On Progression Series Season 2. Can I just scoop here? Is that okay? Yeah, can you, you can <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I don't even want to play this anymore, bro. Well, well, well. Yeah, you got it. Oh my god, I had given up all hope, bro. I, can't I, believe like, this so I literally can't believe it. <laughs> this is gonna be pump, pump, yeah. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Not the cleanest win last week. I know we won by the skin of our teeth, but look, we've been throwing misplays back and forth for the last several episodes. What did you expect? Very happy we ended up coming out with a dub. We definitely needed it. We were on a lose streak for nobody's fault but my own. Looking to regain our ground? Let's hope we spin something good on the wheel. I don't want to waste too much time. Let's just see what we get today. Let me give it a click. Boom! What do we got? Turn it down. It's a little loud for you guys here. Hold on. What am I getting? Oh. My. God. Yes, bro. See, Alex can take away as many cards from my collection as he wants. At least I'm replenishing them with something just as good. Starlight Wildcard. What a banger! You guys know I always have I Wish TCG cooking decks up in my corner to help me out. Um, and there's one card he's been begging me to get the next time that I can spin lucky enough on the wheel. That card is Mind Master. Currently forbidden, currently also in Alex's collection, this is a hidden gem that he's yet to even toy with. Messing with the card with this kind of power could definitely spell out some free wins if we could figure it out. He is going to be over the moon when I tell him that Mind Master is dropping into the collection with our Starlight Redemption. Let's hope that I have the brain power to be able to make it work. Today's set's pretty cool. It's Wing Raiders. I remember there's a couple cards. The Raid Raptors now, there's new support that just got announced. I know a lot of people are super excited over that. We're gonna open 24 packs of it. Let's see what we come out with today. I I don't even want to talk about last episode. We, we've had some demoralizing moments here in the progression series. That has probably got to be one of my worst, but uh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully a new set and a new episode will uh, ensure that we do not do something like that again. And speaking of which, Wing Raiders is our set today, and this set is cracked. Just look at the rares here, okay? So like, first of all, Cowboy's gonna be entering the mix for us because it's a rare, so we're most likely gonna get it. Alucard, Quantal, Mech Beast, Grand Pulse, is spell and trap removal for rank threes. Dark Rebellion, Exceeds Dragons here. I don't know if Gage has this, but obviously I do. A uh, blue layer, like there is something good in almost every section of this set. It's actually insane. You know, I feel happier each episode that I banned Dante a couple episodes back because the Phantom Knights get some of their best support in here, like Silent Boots is super, and so the fact that we just took care of that before, I, I think it's actually paying off in dividends. The Ultras are crazy, Red Layer is just generically good, we have Tribute Lanius for Raid Raptor, we have Ancient Cloak, Fog Blade, even Magna Liger is great. The Secret Rares are crazy too, like Force Strix, Crab King, Break Sword, Great Magnus would be like a hilarious win con, but obviously we need to get like all the other pieces for that to happen, which I'm not holding my breath. And then for the commons, we have Crane Crane, which bolsters rank three strategies. All the Raid Raptors get reprints. And you're decent stuff like Chalice, MST, Call the Haunted Bottomless. Yeah, we already have a lot of this stuff, but down here, Karen Gorgon gets a common reprint, which is actually crazy because I think Gage has this and I don't. So that just fortifies our rank four pool a little bit further. Overall, as far as sets go when it comes to side sets, this one's not bad. It may not provide the most generic stuff, like say something like a gold series set might, but it opens up some interesting paths and introduces some new 
new cards in some interesting ways. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and open some new cards in Astro Pack 8. I don't think we opened this set previously because I think it's too new. So let's see what we get in our first pack here. Anything too crazy? Does it look like it? Second pack, uh, nothing great. Although I'm not sure if we needed that UA Stadium if we want to play UA. Third pack, anything good, please? Another Toon Mask Sorcerer. That's depressing. All right, let's just add it to the collection. Let's get to Wing Raiders. Oh, the Super Quantum Green Layer. I remember as soon as these Super Quantals came out, uh, I think Calvin DeHaan ended up winning an ARG with the deck. The big Robo guy was really the first card that was like, oh, this guy really just can't be dealt with besides, you know, give you a, a Gamma Seal or something like that. Oh, God, Ghost Trick Alucard. Fantastic reprint. I think we already had one of these that we pulled in Shadow Spectres, but this was a really good reprint at the time. And Silent Honor Arc, too. Wow, good to see him again. That's our third copy, finally. Forbidden Chalice is, too, also a great common. Uh, I, this is our second one already in two packs. Soul Shape Force. I'm... Remember this one being, this one actually doesn't have a reprint. Pay half your life, target a Raid Raptor and your Graveyard Special it, and then slap another one on top of it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a really good rank up. It only has one printing at the moment, that's why it's $10, uh, and I think it's necessary for the Raid Raptor deck uh, later. Master Key Beetle, hey, remember when Alex was like trying to protect Vanity's Emptiness with that a couple episodes ago? Now we got a common print, nice. Grand Pulse is actually just good on its own. Even if it's a Super Quant card, a generic rank 3 that just pops back row is good right? Red Layer is also another one of those cards that's just actually good. This was played in a lot of extra deck Monarch lists back in the day, I think. Being a level 5 that you can just summon for free if you have no monsters. Cyber Dragon, but better, right? Your opponent doesn't have to have cards. Solid card. Great Ultra Rare to pick up. I'm happy with that. Oh, another Red Layer. That's actually super sick. I've gotten two Red Layers in the opening. 24 packs of Wing Raiders coming right up. Let's see what we get in pack number one. We don't need Icarus attack, but oh my god, three XCs in the common slot already. Uh, not too bad. Funny enough, none of them are the Karen Gorgon, but I'm sure we'll pull it. Crane Crane is actually pretty good for us because I think it was released initially in one of the previous gold sets, and I think I missed out on this either entirely or I only have like one singular copy. So just having this as a rank three wolf bark is pretty good. There's our Karen Gorgon. Honestly, I don't need more than one of this guy, but we're probably gonna get like seven by the end of this. There's our first ultra, or rather non-super, since supers come in every set, in Raid Raptor Call. I'm not really sure how viable Raid Raptor is, but if there's an opportunity to play it, we're getting all the support here, so maybe. Hey, and there's a much better ultra in Super Quantum Red Layer. If we get a Magna Liger, that'd be pretty sick, because we could actually uh, turn that Magna Liger effect, I believe, into a quick effect, if I remember the effect. Phantom Knight Sword is, like, randomly an okay card in, like, stun-based strategies. I'm not really sure if we're gonna use it, but it's actually a notable rare that some people might just look past. Oh, another ultra rare they're coming in the ancient cloak the phantom knights are good right now there's cards like fog blade and stuff released in this set that are iconic and still good to this day but a lot of the really insane phantom knight cards come when rusty bardish actually comes out that's in the link air many years away another good phantom knight the silent boots there to pair with our ancient cloak lovely i just got this guy didn't i <laughs> Didn't I just get this guy in the mega pack? I forgot I got a common reprint in this. What a ripoff. This is also quite scary that Gaga Ga Cowboy is now in our format. Speaking of uh, more good generic rank fours, because there've been a lot of times where if Gage and I had a cowboy, we could have closed out games. And so now we actually are going to be able to do that. So that's scary. Second copy of Raid Raptor Call. I'm not really sure what other ultras we're looking for, but I'm not sure if that's the one we really want. Well, that's an ultra rare we want. Phantom Knights of Fog Blade. This is just like a generically good card. Obviously it's better in like the PK focus strategies, but the fact that we have like an effect negator and a thing that prevents attacking, like that's pretty good. There's our third Raid Raptor call. I'm not really sure if the Raid Raptor deck even plays this because honestly, I don't know Raid Raptors that well, but if that like enables us to play Raid Raptor, that's insane. All right, coming up on the last few here. Anything good to close? Sword is pretty good as a rare. Not as good as Fog Blade, but it's pretty neat. All right, last two, another Soul Shave Force. And in the very last pack of Winged Raiders. Oh, wow, four Strix as a Seeker Rare. That's awesome. This is a card that everybody wants their hands on right now. Generic rank four that searches a dark winged beast from your deck to your hand. I remember back in the day specifically with this, I was searching Zephros the Elite. Pretty cool. This is actually a really great opening for Winged Raiders. I, I definitely say above the curve. Two... Uh, red layer is really, really strong. I'm definitely a huge fan of that. Well, we're going to add that to the collection. Let's see what we're playing today. Only a few packs left, and uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with everything. Not that I was really looking for a lot out of here, but we've got some of, like, the okay cards that we did want to get, like, pretty much the generic Xyz stuff like Crane Crane. It all came at low rarity, so it wasn't too hard to pick up. Let's see what we get in the last few packs here. I think that's, like, our fourth copy of Aeroboros. We did get, I believe, the green layer, but I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to play the actual super quant strategy, unfortunately. Second to last pack. Ooh, another red layer? Don't mind if I do. I'll add that to the collection. And last pack. I don't think we got a secret 
rare. There's another green layer, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't think we got a single blue layer, which is kind of unfortunate, considering we have three copies of E-Telly. But I think we're probably just going to keep this, honestly. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for out of here. So we'll just add it to the collection, and uh, let's get to building. Alex and I have been enamored with playing really quick combo decks in the form of Despots. I've been playing Ignite the last few episodes. Performa Pals is sort of a combo deck as well, putting together multiple level fours. It's been a minute since we've played a whole bunch of purple cards, and I'm willing to bring back that strategy today in a risky move. I'm going to play Stun. This is Barrier Statue Stun, utilizing some of the new cards that we've gotten today in Wing Raiders. Uh, I did mention a card like Phantom Knight's Sword was really good. Fogblade's one that's more ubiquitous, negating monster effects and also stopping them from attacking, sort of like a fiendish chain, if you will. But Sword's got a nice purpose in this deck in particular. You target a face-up monster, and if it would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can pop the knight's sword instead. And then Wings also does something cool by boosting up a monster's attack by 500 and protecting it the first time it would be destroyed by battle or by card effect. These are going to be great to keep our barrier statue alive, but the main thing that's going to be stunning the opponent, locking Alex out of the game, will be Moon Mirror Shield. Moon Mirror Shield's an equipped spell card that reads, when it battles an opponent's monster during damage cap, the equipped monster becomes equal to it, plus 100. And then if this card would be sent from the field of the grave, we can pay 500 life points to put it on the top or the bottom. So it really is infinite value to be able to keep one of these barrier statues alive. Alex has to have some interesting way to be able to out a, a pretty hefty lock on the board here. If we have a barrier statue equipped with Moon Mirror Shield, he's going to have to find a creative way to beat it because none of his monsters can beat it by battle. And then the dream is if he does have a way to out it by card effect or something like that, the sword or the wing can protect it. Also, cards like Starlight road are going to be able to protect the rest of our back row deep prison is going to be able to keep it alive from battle as well twin twister was just freshly released i have a feeling alex is going to be sprinkling that in a lot of his deck lists so having starlight road to be able to completely counter that right away is extremely powerful also we just get to play some really awesome cards we get to play dualities forbidden lances i have a lot of faith in this deck i also think since it's a complete 180 of our strategy before Alex will not expect something like this alex can only hope that his deck is completely comprised of earths winds or waters or fires that are in the side deck. If he doesn't, he's gonna have some trouble. Let's go see what he's up to. <laughs> Fools! Did you never think we were gonna bring Chainburn back again when we have new technology to evolve the best deck ever created? Gage is absolutely cooked in this episode because I guarantee you this is the one deck he's not going to account for that we are going to be bringing today. So what I'm excited for about this is that we actually have upgraded technology in our Chainburn strategy, and we'll talk about that here momentarily. So let's quickly do the card by card. Of course, we have our triple fader, our triple card car, and our one lava golem. Chain strike still a two. We have one day of peace, triple duality, and pot of greed. And then for the traps, because there's a lot of them, we have triple fortune, one balance of judgment. This is a card that reads, if your opponent controls more cards than the combined number of cards in your hand and that you control, draw cards equal to their surplus. So ideally, we expend all of our resources, then balance of judgment when Gage has a full board. We draw like six cards, and then we can still draw for turn if we do that like in the end phase or something. So that's pretty sick. And I want to give this card a shot. We also have double ceasefire, because this card's at two during this time, which is quite nice. Triple dimension wall, double jar, double trio, triple reckless greed, triple secret barrel, triple secret blast. Talk about new technology. This card is similar to secret barrel in that it does 300 damage to your opponent only for each card they control, not in your hand like secret barrel. But the trade-off is if this card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to your graveyard, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. And yes, if the opponent does target this and you chain it, it gets both effects, which is just nasty. This was one of the issues with this deck because without just desert, it's sometimes difficult to like really hit the threshold to win. But now that we have more technology in order to allow us to achieve that win condition, it's going to be even easier. Then of course we have triple threatening roar and waboku to round out our main deck. The side deck's just a second lava golem in case he has a very monster heavy deck. We have triple swift scarecrow in case we need more defense. Double dark hole in case he's super aggro. Triple MST. We're not playing twin twister. I just want MST because it's good chainable one for one depending on if he has weird stuff that we need to interact with. Triple poison in case we need more more stuff to damage him, but the Secret Blast do a little bit of a better job here. A second Balance of Judgment in case the first one overperforms, and Double Curse of Darkness if he's on a super spell-heavy deck that could ultimately just tax him out of the game. So I can't wait to see how this is going to go. I can't wait to see the look on Gage's face when he's staring across from his favorite deck of all time. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, 
well, well, Gage. Uh, another set come and gone. Wing Raiders, actually a pretty decent side set. I would know because I had to actually talk about it, unfortunately. How you feeling? Uh, good. I actually didn't open a whole lot of this set when it was around, but I definitely remember it coming out. I remember one of the cards, uh, a lot of the cards in this set actually, now with the new Raid Raptors that got announced, everybody really, mm -hmm. really wants their hands on them. I noticed four Strix. That's a, that's a couple of doubloons, bro. Yeah, it is. And uh, the deck's probably still going to suck because I feel like this is like Batwin Boxer where it's like, oh, new support gets announced. Everyone thinks the deck is going to be tier zero and then it just falls short time and time again. But there are some good cards. Like obviously Four Strix hasn't necessarily... It's been good for Raid Raptor, but like it's been better in other decks that have been competitive. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, I remember searching uh, Blackwing Zephyros off that thing and I was like, yep. yo, that's the best card yep. I can get. That's crazy. Later on when we get to like Wise Strix, we see some shenanigans with that, but that's not to way later until we get to Lynx, but there's some like okay cards, but there was also just some decent stuff too, like we have the uh, the Super Quant stuff is in here, mm -hmm. like during this time it was like PK Monarch uh, Cosmo format, I think if we're looking like historically, so there was like some neat stuff that was coming out. Yeah, it was definitely an interesting set. I'm excited to see if you played anything from it. I am interested to see that as well, and we will find out right about now. Let's shout the patron, it is Spatula! Thank you for the support. Just Spatula. Just Spatula. Just, sp nothing, nothing <laughs> just fancy. Spatula. Just spatula. All right, buddy. See what you got. Ooh, let's go. Don't like to see what that. Kind of, All right. What kind of spatula do you think that guy is? What was the Krabby Patty flipper in the SpongeBob episode? The the episode one. Oh my god. The one with I know three heads, yeah. turbo drive, and everything <laughs> like that. All right. I. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go first. Obviously, seems like the best play. Of course. Uh, good luck, Dolores. Right, okay. Luck, buddy. Yep. I actually have a spatula that we use to cook, like, large things. We call it the fatula. The, the fatula, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's great for flipping pancakes because it has a wider, like, bit. Anyway, we're getting off topic. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to start. Let's take it slow. I'm going to start with Pot of Duality. It might give you a little peek into what my strategy is today. Ooh, okay. All right, top sure. three cards. Ooh. Oh. I mean. Well, we know which one you're Yeah, thinking. it's the best choice, bro, because it could be... Anything else, I will take that pot of greed. Yep. This is going so slow for me today. And I'm going to put the other two cards back to the deck. Of course. Hopefully you just draw both of them. That would be the best case scenario. <laughs> I'll just use it right away here. What do we got? Yeah, that's fine. From there, I am going to set one, two, and I'm going to pass my turn. That's all I got. All right. You are kicking it slow. All right, I'll draw. Uh, let's go standby man. Sure. You know what, Gage? I think I liked your play so much. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, mimic here. So we're going to set one. We're going to set two. And uh, we're going to set a few more while we're at it as well. Go ahead. Come on, man. No, no <laughs> you, you can't decide to do the same thing I'm doing every week. Stop copying my homework. What, what do I got, bro? I'm going to draw. Standby, main phase. You're good. All right, bro. Five back row. I guess I got to figure out what you're on at some point. Uh, I'm going to reveal my strategy. I will normal summon. The Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds. Oh my god. What kind of bullshit is it, this? It's exactly yeah, that, sure. bro. It's some bullshit. So, <laughs> all right. I got the, the Statue of Stormwinds. Uh, I'm going to go to the battle phase. I'm going to declare an attack for 1,000. This is 1,000? Yeah, I'll take 1,000. That's all right. Fine. Cool. I'll go main phase two. I guess I don't feel nearly as scared doing all this. <laughs> like, yeah, all right. That's it. I'm going to pass turn. All right. I'll draw. Uh, standby main. Shit. <laughs> Yo. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, it's come down to this. Okay, I'll draw. Standby main. Yep. Battle. I'll just go a thousand again. Uh, yeah. Two thousand. Sure. Amazing. Main phase two. I'll add another phase down and I'll pass the turn. This is the thrilling gameplay I'm sure everyone <laughs> wanted to see. Uh, we'll go standby main. Well, Gage, I suppose it's time I reveal what I'm up to. So let's do it. I'm going to activate Secret Blast. Oh, okay. I mean, of course you would do something like this. I'd expect nothing less You're from you. You're saying that as the fucking Barrier Stun player, okay? <laughs> hey, all right. I, I guess we both can't have fun, huh? Let's. Yeah, take your 1,800 damage. We have new technology in do, the chain. Do you have any chain now. two? Any chain two or anything? I don't. Like I'm just chaining the one. Bro, this Secret Barrel is about to fucking hurt. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. Uh, speaking of which, I'll set a card. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll draw. Stand by. I'll race your fucking statue. Yeah, go ahead. Main. Okay. I will go battle phase, and I'll declare another attack with storm winds. God. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to dimension wall this shit. Um, <laughs> all right. I guess I'll forbidden lance my own card. Forbidden lance your own card, so that way... 
I the take less. Dimension wall. Is that how this works? Yeah, I. This doesn't like target the monster or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I'm just trying to take less damage back. Do we need to double check to make sure? It's 200 damage, man. I. <laughs> <laughs> we well, I don't check, want I this guess. to be another machine duplication forbidden lance scenario <laughs> let's here, check, okay? Let's check. Dimension <laughs> wall. I think it is affecting the player, so you're probably correct. We'll go chain link three secret barrel. Do you have any response? No. Chain link four accumulated fortune. Okay. And then chain link five chain strike. Yeah, th this is all fine. Okay, so you're going to take 2,000 from chain strike. Okay. You're going to take five, six, seven, eight, nine times two, 1,800 from secret barrel. I draw two, and then Dimension Wall deals 200 damage to you. Okay. All right. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm feeling great. Main phase two. Uh, I'll set a card, and I'll pass. Go ahead. Sure. I'll draw. Stand by main. This may shock you where this is about to go. I'm going to set plenty of cards and pass the turn. Draw. Do you have the, the means to just finish me off? Potentially. Okay. Would you like to declare an attack? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you got I'm not, this. Yeah, this isn't going to I'll Dimension go. Wall. I'll lance again. <laughs> you're going to lance again? Okay. Uh, we'll go... So you're going to take 200, so you'll be down to 2,000. We'll go chain three secret barrel. Okay. All right. And how much... Chain four secret blast. That'll be game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's just go. Two. <laughs> He's just looking to get out. Yeah. I was like, please get me out of here. <laughs> Dude, you said it off camera, but like you said, I think I'm favored. I think I'm favored. Yeah, you think so, bro? My, my deck is supposed to prevent you from playing your cards, but I, I don't know if you noticed, I prevented you from playing nothing, bro. You could do everything. <laughs> so I think I'm going to lose this game, but I'm going to try my best. So I've learned from Joe G. Orlando that letting you go first is probably still right. Is that, is that mm -hmm. good? I, I'm playing the shitty deck too. I don't know, man. That was in like 2007, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to be fair. I don't know if the theory uh, changed I, I over think I'm, nine years I, of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll go first, bro. Whatever. We'll see. I don't, I don't have much hope, <laughs> but we'll see how this goes today, okay? I can just hear how discouraged you are in your voice. <laughs> I'm definitely right, bad buddy. out of shape. Let's see. Stand by main. Okay, man. Not that it did a whole hell of a lot last time, but I will... <laughs> I, I will... Uh, I'm going to set a monster... And I'm going to set two spells and traps. Yeah. I'm going to pass turn. Go ahead. <laughs> sure. Uh, draw standby main. I have sure. duality yeah, this that's time. Fine. Those are all okay. Shock you to find out. I don't really like many of these. I actually... God, do I take fucking duality? I really hate when that's the best move. <laughs> what? Yeah, you I'll take you don't think you'll be getting several more turns in this game, bro? Like... <laughs> Well, I mean, that's not the issue. I just kind of wanted to end the game a lot sooner is, is what I was mainly Yeah, do you for. and me both, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to set three and pass. All right. Go I'm going to end phase activate twin twisters. Ooh, okay. Uh, All right. I'm going to pitch my barrier statue of the drought. Uh, the stop your card card D from me. <laughs> All right. We're going to pop these two. Kind of relevant. These two, sure. It's reckless and it's Sure, that's all right. Okay, uh, I'll draw. Standby yep. main. Mm -hmm. Okay, man. This will be the most value I get off of this. I'm going to activate interrupted kaiju slumber, blowing up my own yeah, monster. Yeah, nuke your own yeah. guy. And I'm going to give us both a kaiju here. This gives you some big bodies. That's the at plan. Least, that's so the that's plan. Good. At least gets like big cards on the table. Uh, I'm going to give myself a Jizakiru. Okay. And my gift to you will be the sea turtle kaiju. How nice yeah, you're very you. welcome, my man. I'm going to go battle phase. They must attack, so. They must attack, so I will take 11 okay. here. Sweet. I'm feeling confident. Big guy versus chain burn deck. I like it. I'll set one card. I'll end my turn. I think it's a bit better than just hitting me with a barrier statue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stand by main. You know I have this. So we're going to do okay, this all right. Uh, Still not great. I think I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take the threatening roar. Oh, I mean, that's very telling to what kind of situation you're in. I mean, 3,300 is not a thousand per turn, Gage. There's a there's a big difference between that. So we're gonna we're gonna set some guys down here, and we're just gonna right. throw it back. Stand by main. All right. Yep. Um, I'm gonna use my interrupted kaiju slumber. Whoops, that, that's what that card is. I swear. Um, we're gonna banish that to pick up another kaiju from deck. I'll pick up the the humongous kumongus, the sticky string kaiju. Um, not that he can do much right now, but he's going to just chill in my hand. Thin out the deck, if you will. I'm going to normal summon the barrier statue of Torrent. Sure. I'll go battle phase. Thousand. This is going to hurt. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm going to take all of it. Oh, he's keeping the threatening roar. For a ra saving it for a rainy day. I like it. Okay. Rainy day. Your move. Uh, stand by main. We're going to bring out Card Cardi. Oh, my favorite rock monster. Let's go. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Favorite rock monster. He's fine. Uh, may I use the effect? You may, yeah. All right. Uh, I will go to end phase, and I'll draw two. Okay. Where do you? Draw. Stand by main. I'm going to normal summon Thunder King Ryo. Oh my god, just all the big yeah, guys. I'm, yeah, now I start seeing the monsters. Uh, battle phase. <laughs> Do you have the threatening yeah, war? You I know knew about you this. Used. Eventually, you're going to have to use that. Um, I'll just pass turn there. Yep. Stand by main. Uh, we are just going to... Oh, this is scary, actually. Yeah. Uh, I'll set two and pass. Okay. Stand by main. Yep. Battle. Sure. Thousand. I will... I'm ready for it, Alex. I'm ready for anything. Except Mirror Force. I wouldn't be ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be kind of stunned about that one. I'm just going to Waboku. Okay, sure. Pesky Waboku. Don't worry. Just like you say, man, I'll see you next time. <laughs> the next turn's right around the corner. I'll set a card and pass. Okay. Um, I will draw. Yikes. You got it, buddy. God. <laughs> the Jizakira beat was... down. Let's go. The Jizakira beat. That was actually not the thing that actually. I, uh, I'll tell you later, but man, that. Oh, that game. I'm going to be thinking I about needed that. That, one. that sucked. I needed that. <laughs>There are actually so many things that went wrong that game, I can't even really summarize it in like one sentence. I'm gonna have to tell you after the fact. <laughs> and I realized it like as it was happening, so it was just like watching a train wreck. There was just nothing I could do. Now I'm in the position where I have to decide. I do like getting my extra card, but I also like you not being able to set up. So I think probably going first is correct, but we'll see if that's uh, if that's the case or not. Best of luck, buddy. All right, best of luck, buddy. We'll see. This looks okay. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty good when I just set my whole hand and yeah. for the best. So. Yeah. <laughs> now you got Go the fifth. Ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'll draw for turn. Stand my main. Okay. I'll start with Pot of Duality. Okay. I'm going to reveal three. I see There's a, a barrier statue. Yep. I'm going to pick that boy up. Sure. All right. Let's shuffle these up here. All right. Uh, normal summon. Summon is fine. Thousand. I'll take a thousand. That's fine. All right. Main phase two. I'll set three of my own. And I will go to the end. Turn. Riveting gameplay we've got yep. going on here. All right, I'll draw. Uh, stand by main. I think I am just chilling. Go ahead. Phew. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. I'll summon <laughs> the barrier statue of the drought. Yeah, they're all coming out. Oh yeah, I knew. I knew you were already struggling not being able to special summon wind monsters. Yeah, precisely. Now nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, you can't summon uh, either. You have to have earths or winds. All right, we'll go two thousand this time. Surely you have something this time. Might have something this time. Let me think. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll dimension wall one of these bad boys if you don't mind. I do not mind. Uh, I will take the thousand. I think. And then I'll take a thousand from the other. Okay. Good deal. I'll just pass. Go ahead. End phase, we're going to Reckless. Okay. And I'll Reckless. Okay. So we'll draw four. We'll skip our draw here. Okay. And we'll draw two more because, you know, we're just that <laughs> Yeah, because he's the, the greatest the game's ever seen. Understandable. And then uh, I'll put one on Reckless in the chat. So sure. Remember. Uh, so now we've got some guys staring us down. Let's go. Uh, how do we want to do this? Uh, let's just go one, two, three, and we'll throw it to you. Okay, during the end phase... Figured we'd see some twin twists. Yeah, let's hope on. this snipe is good here. I'm going to pitch the Gamma Seal. We're going to pop this one. This was one of the fresh ones, right? Yep. Okay, that one, and then we'll do the one closest to deck. Okay, they're gone. Beautiful. Well, I mean, the, okay, the trio, less beautiful, but the barrel was nice. Uh, draw for turn. Standby, main. Yep. Look at this, man. <laughs> the trifecta. <laughs> the gang's all here. Let's go. Hey, the Ojama trio would have stopped this it guy. Was, I'm just saying. I mean, what attribute are those? They're... Oh, you, you, no, you couldn't oh, summon them. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't summon them anyway. Yeah, yep. that's right. All right. Uh, battle phase. Yep. 3,000. 3,000 big ones. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Oh, my God. I will just uh, pass. That's your second turn on Reckless. This is my second turn on Reckless. So next turn, I am able to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Who would have thought? That, um, is that what we've been doing this whole time? <laughs> really? We're going to really? fire one day of peace. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. We just draw. No damage. And then I am going to set one and two. Sure. Draw. Stand by main. 
I'm gonna set. Remember, no damage yeah, this yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two. I uh, power move. I'm gonna attack you for a thousand. <laughs> you're gonna attack anyway. Yeah, you can attack. Yeah. I just don't take. Damage. So threatening, bro. I I know you're quaking. Uh, I'll just uh. I'll <laughs> quaking pass there. in my boots. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, okay. So I can now draw, and one day of peace has expired. We have, we'll have another peaceful day here. <laughs> I survive the. Th the three statues here. Got a nice museum I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I think we just pass. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. I don't expect to, to clear a battle phase here, so I'll try for 1,000. Do you have T-Roar? I do. Okay, thought so. Um, That's going to be fine. All right, chain link two. Oh, okay, sure. What you got? Uh, We're going to go secret barrel chain link two. Okay. Anything? No. Secret blast chain link three. Let me read this guy again sure okay yeah that's fine uh we're gonna go accumulated chain four sure and then chain strike chain five this is a lot but i'm pretty sure i'm still chilling i think you're i think you're okay it just buys so, yeah. me time and lets me draw cards yeah i think this is all okay okay just so, double check in real quick yeah sure yeah no this is fine okay we'll do so this you take two thousand from chain strike <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I draw two from accumulated. You're going to take four, seven, eight, nine, eighteen hundred from secret barrel, and then three times seven, twenty-one from secret blast. Okay, that is a lot more than I thought it was, bro. Oh yeah, my secret God. blast. Secret blast is a lot, dude. <laughs> secret, bro. <laughs> <The> secret. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to go to main phase two since I don't have a battle phase. I'm going to set one card and I'm going to pass. I'm going to draw. Stand by main. I have a duality. Okay. Okay. See what we get. Oh, you get to see the secret card. No, I didn't want you to know secret, about this. Secret, secret, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, didn't want you to know that we had that, sadly. The balance of judgment. This card fucks, bro. This card's sick. This is like, I remember when they first printed this card. I'm like, this is like the best chain burn card they've ever yeah. printed. And yep. here we are. Here we are. Unfortunately, it might be a little bit too late to fire it. I think the easy call here is just to take Secret Barrow, and hopefully I just kill you. So... <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Shuffle up. You got a twin twister back there. This might be what it comes down to. So we're going to set one, two, three, four, and then normal card car. Yeah, that's fine. Card car effect. Yep. All right. Let's You're see. You're right, Alex. It's going to come down to the 50-50. <laughs> I, I got to assume all these are real because one real card could lose me the game. Pitching my bottomless trap while doing so much in this matchup. <laughs> Where do, where do I think you would put this, bro? I, I don't know if you've seen, but I've been playing in uh, DZ's Master Saga with Farfa uh -huh. for a bit, and he mm -hmm. always says that good players or bad play any player, he says they always put their best card in the middle. And Alex, I don't know if it would surprise you, but every time he said that, I've put my best card in the middle. So... <laughs> I'm wondering if you're any better. You could go for it. I'll let you know. I literally, after my hand shuffled, after the duality, I just set them wherever they were in my hand. Oh, I you just kind of pressed them. it. Okay. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I did not set them with any order. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm Out of principle, I'm going to target the middle one. Okay. And Okay, this other one, bro. You could just roll a die. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. For the other one, I'll roll. We'll go one through four, okay? So these two, then. These two back to back. You hit the jar of greed. I'm not. I'm not excited and about you that. You hit secret oh, barrel. This is wait, wait, hold on. Let me double check. Okay, oh, wait. You're out of barrels. But this is where the blast gets flipped up, and uh -huh. it doesn't matter. Oh no! Maybe. Don't say aha. Uh -huh. It's not like that. No. <laughs> Draw. Stand by. This isn't cool. That now this isn't cool if you have it. Main phase. Okay. Would I sandbag you, buddy? I would never. <laughs> yes. Do such a yes. Thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna go battle phase. I'm gonna okay. try it with everything I got to finish this up, bro thousand I'm gonna dimension wall oh my god i'm still in this i uh, <laughs> okay wait <laughs> what do i lose to hold on hold on oh this isn't gonna work i guess i'm going to chain forbidden land just so you take less honestly yeah that makes sense yeah. yeah so you take 200 instead of a thousand yeah okay hold on this unfortunately sucks bro i don't think it helps my cause here uh so yeah i'll take the 200 okay thousand take the thousand thousand take the thousand <sighs> man ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, this sucks dude no way um i guess i have to pass all right be gentle i'll draw 
Stand by me. You have card, card, DJ. I'm not winning this game. Yeah, that's fine. I'll activate Jar. Yeah. Yeah. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to set four. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Stand by main. Yeah. I even another dimension wall does it for me, bro. I'm going to go battle phase. <laughs> Just show me you got it. You got another lance? I don't have another lance for this one. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What's in the rest of these, bro? What's the rest of these? <laughs> it actually wasn't going to kill you. It was two roars and an accumulated. Uh, so I yeah, needed yeah, another as if I thing wanted to, burn to play. You. As if I wanted to play through all of that anyways, bro. <laughs> I'm just curious. No! Oh, chain strike was the next. So that actually that wouldn't have been enough. I would have had to go like threatening roar, threatening roar, chain strike to kill you with that. Um, and then another accumulated. So yeah, it was it was really close at the end there. Holy shit! That twin twister almost won you the game. That's wild. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to think about it, and maybe like I had this wings face down the whole time, mm -hmm. and I was like saving it in anticipation of like doing something like popping something else with it now or like I'm um, protecting it from something but like not like even destroy it I think I should have maybe flipped it to like accelerate the clock a little bit yeah because looking at your thousand like yeah those those little 500s could have mattered you know mm -hmm. um yeah dude I don't know man this matchup like <laughs> I didn't expect to win as soon as I knew what you queued into because I was like this is not a good matchup my my deck no. does not work against yours like of course yeah not. like I have yeah. like a whole bunch of stuff that's like really really cool to counter a lot of things like the starlight yeah right yeah yeah i mean <laughs> it sucks because it's like your deck if i played like any <laughs> if i played any normal real deck like you would have probably hosed me right especially because with oh, yeah. the new support out of wing raiders you have like this i don't know if you're playing the sword too but like wing is good yeah sword yeah. is good um like there's so i don't know if you have like moon mirror and stuff there's just so many mm -hmm. powerful mm -hmm. cards that barrier stun plays and i'm sure jeff leonard will be real proud of you <laughs> um, but like I happen to queue up with like maybe one of the only decks that actually like had a good chance and actually a very good chance of just actually dealing with this. So here we are. Um, we got to see off the secret blast and the secret blast makes your uh, twin twisters not as potent because if you hit the wrong card, which when I set three earlier in this game three, you actually two of the three, the ones you hit were not secret blast. You would have taken an extra thousand nice. from this anyway. Yeah, secret blast really adds a lot because since I don't, we don't have just desserts. That's just a card like we don't have for this deck. And you know this because you've played it too. Um, mm -hmm. This is just another thing to get a lot of damage onto the field. But what where you actually did have an advantage is like Ojama Trio is really good against, uh, or your deck's good against Ojama Trio because I can't summon the tokens. And that's what happened in game two. And it also happened in game two. I forgot to side out my battle faders. I have swift scarecrows that I could have swapped them for. I can't summon mm. battle fader while you have a barrier yep. statue up. And so because of the trio and the fader, I had a uh, balance of judgment actually in the previous game. And I was trying to resolve it for like a juicy, like four or five, but I couldn't get cards off the field because I couldn't summon the Ojama tokens. Accumulated fortune then didn't have enough chain links for me to activate it. And fader was just sitting in my hand. So that's three cards I couldn't cycle. Um, and that made the balance of judgment dead too. So I was sort of just like dead in the water at that point where so i mean to be fair it got you to the game three but holy shit chain burn does it again i don't know what to say <laughs> yeah I, I don't know like i said like this was probably just like the, the best matchup you i probably could have like ran into for you like you definitely def like my whole side deck was not even prepared for something like uh chain burn so i don't know right. what i was gonna do I, i'm lucky i even got a game off you honestly you got your twin twisters this game though since you probably had like the best shot imaginable this game yeah three. yeah so yeah, yeah i mean seeing the the twin twisters game two and game three like that i think definitely was the only way i was gonna be able to win is by yeah. like holding them and then waiting for exactly you to to fresh and set and then hitting yeah. some good stuff so and that's why i was actually afraid to play this deck because now the twin twisters is in the format it's scary uh, cause mm -hmm. that could be the reason I lose the game in all honesty, but thankfully we have stuff like balance and secret blast to sort of balance it out. No pun intended, but how's your wing Raiders polls? I mean, you obviously got some of the phantom Knight stuff. Anything crazy though? Dude, it was actually really good. I was thinking for, for wing Raider standards. Like I ended up getting two red layer, which red Ooh, layer is just same. good on its own. Right. And then I also yeah. got the, I got the four strix I was talking about. I did get one of those. I think that's everything like super notable that I got, but that's pretty good. Honestly, I, I, was, I yeah. wasn't expecting anything better than that. Yeah. Uh, I'd similarly, I got the two red layer. I don't think I got 
got a single secret rare, which kind of sucks, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, just like other, like, randomly good stuff. I got a Cairn Gorgon. I missed out on that in Primal Origin, so I'm happy oh, that yeah. <laughs> I got a chance at it. It comes in common, which is Yeah, hilarious. I got that in the, the, the Mega Tins we opened just the last week, and then I oh, opened okay. that today, and I was like, wait a minute, I, I just got that guy. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I thought he was going to be, like, harder to get. I think I remember that from, like, when that set came out, that we just, I think people were saying, like, didn't they just reprint Cairn Gorgon, and they reprinted yeah. it, like, immediately after, but, you know, it, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, but, like, overall, as far as side sets go, it's pretty good. How's the wheel, though? That's what I'm the most nervous about. I so, got my win, but... Alex, I'm willing to reveal the segment I got on the wheel, but because you've been so anti-fun, and I haven't oh. even been able to summon the I've last been card, I have Look to keep it a secret. what you brought to the table today! Listen, listen no, 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 no. It's, you've been anti-fun for a different reason, bro. Like, I got Norted, and I didn't even get to summon it. That guy didn't oh even get God. to hit the board, bro. So, I, I did spin a Starlight on this week's wheel, but can you do me a favor and not watch the edit when Sam sends it to you <laughs> so you don't know what the card is? Fine, I'll be yes. nice. Yes, okay, I, I want to do something with this, and I think if I told you what it was, you would get too scared. So okay, yeah, the fact that I'm probably going to get FTK next episode, can't wait, <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's laughing. That's exactly what he's going to do. <laughs> so, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So, shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play MBTPlayMedolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud. Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and Life Keeps Using Solemn Judgment on My Hopes and Dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.